Attention duelists, it's time to vlog. What's up guys? Found this uh, old towel that I had, it's a beach towel. Found it at my parents' house, uh, 4th of July weekend, uh, which I know was a little bit of time ago, and I've been meaning to do a video like this ever since then, but uh, I just thought it was so cool that it's in such good condition, uh, and it's just a really good reminder of my childhood. I have a lot of other cool stuff that I've collected now, so I thought it might be a cool idea to do, do like a, a room tour, I guess? Um, sort of a vlog thing, uh, I just wanted to try out like a new video format basically, just something new. Um, do a little room tour, like an MTV crib style, except uh, nerdier, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and without all the unnecessary like reverse rewind edits, <laughs> so none of that. In the comments down below, tell me what you guys are passionate about. I want to know your hobbies, or if you collect anything, the, basically the things that you just you love and you don't care what anybody else thinks about it. Basically anything that uh, gives you joy and gets you passionate and that you love uh, collecting, looking at, playing with, um, you know, whether it be video games, uh, you like a certain sport, you collect stamps, whatever, you know, whatever gets you going, brother. Uh, I want to know about it because uh, at the end of the day, if you enjoy it and it's not hurting you or not hurting anybody else, have at it, man. Teach his own. So we'll get into the room tour here in just a second, do a quick cut, and I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, so we're going to get a real POV of what it looks like when we come into my room here. So it's right up against the wall whenever you first come in. We'll just pan around the room here. So, as I said, full of nerdy things. I'm going to go through and kind of quickly explain some of these. Uh, here we have a couple of caricatures from the San Diego Zoo. Uh, this one is from my senior class trip in high school. This one, uh, my wife Kelly and I went a few years ago. Uh, super fun. I uh, love that city. There's a lot of cool stuff to do. San Diego Zoo is awesome. Uh, here we have our Captain America shield uh, from the Marvel Legends collection. $100. Uh, pretty nice collector's item. It looks pretty good. And um, Kelly actually was Captain America for our Halloween party a couple years ago, so it was a really nice buy for that as well. Up just above that, we have a few assorted hats. Uh, Daredevil, Pokemon, and the Flash. Lamp. Uh, on here is kind of like a work in progress. I have just a little old entertainment center. I'm looking to get another shelf, like, right up against this wall to eventually put some of this stuff on. But as of right now, it's just kind of like a shelf for my knickknacks. <laughs> um, got the Aragon series. Uh, it's my favorite book series. The author was only 15 when he wrote the first book, so it's pretty impressive, actually. He was a New York Times bestseller. Uh, here we have a Game Boy Advance, uh, Nintendo 3DS, uh, assorted 3DS games. All my Switch games, my one PlayStation 4 hard disk game that I still have <laughs> is Skyrim. Um, the Switch is right here. These are just some picture frames of pictures I really need to get set up. Uh, but as you can see there, uh, that was our Halloween party. Uh, a lot of fun costumes that year. That was really fun. Um, move over here. We have my boom mic, which is what I use to record couple things framed on the wall here. I have my uh, Always Sunny meme. Uh, can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Frank Reynolds, Danny DeVito, awesome. Uh, here I have framed, if you can see without the glare, just a couple of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I've had from my collection. Um, this is the era of Yu-Gi-Oh that really got me back into it after I had quit for a few years. Got back into it um, in like freshman year, sophomore year of high school. Uh, play that all the way up until I graduated college. Uh, so super fun part of my life there. That's just my favorite area of Yu-Gi-Oh. Here we have uh, just a Rocky uh, poster from Display. It's like a metal, solid metal poster. Pretty nice. Uh, Ethernet cables coming down from the ceiling. Don't worry about those. This is a map of the Hoenn region from the um, third generation Pokemon games. It's my favorite uh, region, as, you, as you've as you all heard. I'm sure if you've been following my Pokemon gameplay series, uh, Emerald's my favorite Pokemon game of all time. So I found a really awesome uh, topographical map of the uh, Hoenn region, and I framed it. If we move over here, I got my webcam set up there, my ring light for lighting, uh, Power Rangers collectible hanging there. It's from the Zeo. Uh, it's the Gold Rangers power staff, scuff controller, Turtle Beach headset, 
PS4, the original one that I bought in 20, must have been 2014, I think. I'm not too sure on the year, but long time. And it's the original one, too. It, you know, knock on wood that it'll uh, last a little bit longer until I can get a, a PS5. But I'm going to wait a couple years on that. Hopefully the price will go down and it'll become a little bit more available. Up here we have a very awesome looking map for uh, that came with the Skyrim game. Um, it's really cool. I ended up framing it, put it up there. I just thought it looks really nice. Um, here we have a, uh, some art, uh, posters, uh, and such for Marvel. And then all across the top corner of the room here, we have, uh, an LED strip. Looks super nice. And then here is the shelf when you, you saw when we first walked in. Um, tons of assorted collectibles, mostly Power Ranger stuff, but there's some random stuff kind of strewn in there. I'll kind of quickly go over it. Uh, top shelf here is uh, the Voltron Lions. Um, these are the versions from the Netflix uh, Voltron Legendary Defender series. Uh, it's a very good series. It's a reboot of the original cartoon which came out, uh, I think, in the 70s. Um, but it's a very adult take on on that show, and I loved it, uh, actually. So, um, so various Megazords here. Uh, some Morphers, uh, Pokeball Collectible. This is actually a really nice Pokeball Collectible. It does actually light up a little bit. I don't know if you can... There you go. Whenever you touch it, it lights up. You can also close this. And then whenever you open it, it has a little case that comes up. And it kind of lights up underneath it. Um, more Morphers over here, Power Coins. Uh, the original three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on DVD. This is a Power Coin set from the 2017 Power Rangers reboot. Very cool. They all light up. Uh, some more Power Rangers Megazords and Zords down here. Uh, down here, Pokemon plushies. You actually uh, saw these if you had watched uh, our little game trailer that I did for my Pokemon playthrough series. Uh, that awful cringy mess. Um, most of these plushies were used. Mine is Donatello because he is a Ninja Turtle and not, in fact, a Pokemon. Um, I got Trico, Rowlet, Love Disc, Zigzagoon, Togepi, and Fampy. Uh, a couple action figures there. Got this Marvel Legends uh, action figure. I haven't actually ever collected those. They've been out for a while, um, but I had never collected any of the actual action figures. I've just got more stuff like the, the Thor's Hammer from the Marvel Legends collection, and then obviously I showed you the Captain America shield earlier. So I want to start getting into those. Just some random knickknacks and stuff. Uh, I guess I'll show you my chair. It's really nothing to brag about. <laughs> it's just a DX Razor. I feel like that's one of the more popular brands of um, uh, gaming chairs. It was... Could you even see those air quotes? gaming chairs um it was pretty expensive but it's actually a really good price and if you get some things um you know you can kind of fit it to your style or whatever it comes with like a neck pillow a lower back support i don't use any of those i don't really find the need for them um, but i did get some nice uh cushions for the arms that helps a lot still a work in progress like i said there's some things to improve upon um we did it in the whole basement but i'll just show you on a smaller scale here uh, there's black paneling on the ceiling. That all used to be that gross-looking, like, old office building white. Uh, I don't know what it was actually made out of, like, cardboard, I guess. Like, really awful. Like, had some water stains on a couple parts of it. Just looked really old and disgusting. So we had got these, like, slick modern black panels that I put on. Uh, and these are throughout the rest of the basement as well. So it looks way better. It looks more modern that way. And then uh, eventually we're going to have carpet throughout the entire basement as well. So the carpet, I think, will look a lot nicer down here too. Um, but this doesn't look too bad for right now. I'll just keep making improvements. Um, again, shelf over there eventually so I can put more of my crap on it. <laughs> this is kind of my, I don't want to call it my man cave because it's not really a man cave. It's more of like my nerd hideout almost. This is kind of where I come after work. When I want to uh, just relax, play video games, um, watch YouTube, or um, record and make videos. Uh, that's become a new hobby in the last uh, year or so, obviously, with Corey and the channel. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to do kind of like a little vlogging thing to kind of get just get some more variety of videos on the channel. Um, just try some things that I haven't really tried before. All in all, I think a pretty successful first time for a vlog. Uh, I'll try to do more of these in the future. Um, maybe get more of my 
face in it next time and have more of a face to face with you guys. Uh, I'm sure I'll brainstorm some ideas and we'll think of some stuff. Uh, but appreciate you guys watching. Um, again, please uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. I want to know your passions, your hobbies. Always like to hear from you guys. Uh, but uh, we will see you in the next one. Got a lot of new videos I'm going to be pumping out. Um, some gameplay reviews, some Pokemon game playthroughs. I'm going to be starting uh, Heart Gold here soon, so be on the lookout for that. Reaction, review videos, uh, more movie discussions coming. Just a bunch of stuff we're going to be pumping out in the future. So uh, look forward to that, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. See you later.